What's up you freaking geniuses? So in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to write an equation of a parabola that passes through three points. All right, so buckle in young Padawan because these problems can get long as sh All right, so the three points we're given here are 310, negative one, negative six, and negative four, three. So the first thing that we have to do here is just place each of these points into the standard form equation of a quadratic, which is y is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c, all right, where x and y are our x and y coordinates, right? So let's place these first coordinates into our equation. So we're going to have that y is equal to, right, so we're going to have 10, all right, we're going to have 10 is equal to a times x squared, and x is 3 in this case, so we're going to say 3 squared uh, plus b times x, which again is 3, plus c at the end, all right? Now let's do this with our second pair of coordinates. So here is our new x and y, so negative one and negative six, right? So we're gonna have that negative six for our y. Negative six is equal to a times x squared, which is negative one in this case. Negative one uh, squared plus b times x, which again is negative one plus c, all right? And then lastly, we have uh, negative four and positive three, right? So we're gonna plug in a three for our y right here. So we're gonna have that three is equal to a times x squared, which is negative four, right? Negative four squared plus b times x, which again is negative four, plus c, all right? So now that we have everything inserted, let's just simplify this by multiplying them out, all right? So first of all, here we're gonna have that 10 is equal to, uh, let's see, three squared is equal to nine, so nine times a is nine a, and then three times b is just positive three b, and then plus c, all right? Next we have that negative six is equal to, negative one squared is equal to positive one, so positive one times a is just a, and then here we have negative b, right, minus b, and plus c. All right, and then lastly, we have that three is equal to negative four squared is equal to uh, positive 16, so 16a, right, positive 16a. Uh, here's negative four b. And lastly, we have plus c, all right? So we have three equations and three unknown variables, right? A, b, and c. So since now we have a system of equations, we can solve this using either the elimination method or substitution method. And when you have three equations and three unknowns, the elimination method is normally a little bit easier, so that's what we're gonna go with, right? So the first thing that we have to do here is just take your first two equations, so these two right here, I'm just gonna copy them right there uh, using magic, and then we're going to eliminate just one variable, okay? And in this case, I'm gonna choose to eliminate C over here because it'll be kind of easy to do so because all we have to do is basically multiply this whole equation by a negative one, because if we do that, it's gonna change the sign on everything, right? And it'll turn this into a negative C. So we have a positive C up here, we'll have a negative C down there, so those will eliminate each other, right? They'll take each other out. So if I, uh, if I multiply this whole equation by a negative one, uh, we'll have that this turns into a positive six, this will be a negative A, this will be a positive B, and then we'll have a negative C right there, okay? So now that I multiplied this by negative one, now let's add these two bad boys together. So 10 plus six, that's equal to 16. Uh, 9A minus A is equal to positive 8A. Uh, 3B plus 1B is equal to 4B. And then uh, positive C minus C, those just cancel out kill each other, and so all we're left with is 16 is equal to 8a plus 4b, all right? So we have a new little equation right here, so we'll keep that in our back pocket. Okay, cool, so remember, we have three equations, right? So that means we have to also use this third one and eliminate a variable. So we're gonna use this third equation now, and then you can either choose to use the first or the second one. I'm just gonna choose the second one, all right? So now let's use these two equations right here here and again we're going to eliminate a variable and you want to make sure you eliminate the same variable you did up here okay so we need to eliminate c again and in this case it'll be kind of easy right because we can just multiply uh, one of these variables by a negative one again i'll just multiply this bottom one by a negative one so again that'll change the sign on everything right so this will turn into a negative three this will turn into negative 16a we'll have positive 4b right there and then 
Uh, lastly, we'll have that this C turns into a negative C, right? So now that we did that, again, we can just uh, add these together. So here, negative six minus three, that's equal to negative nine, and that's equal to uh, A minus 16A, that's equal to negative 15A, and then negative B plus four B is equal to positive three B. And then again, these C's go right to kill each other. Okay, cool. So again, we got another new little equation right here, right? Negative nine is equal to negative 15A plus three B. Okay, so the next thing that we're gonna do is we're going to use our two little new equations right here because they're gonna be very helpful. So the one up here is 16 is equal to eight a plus 4b and this one is negative 9 is equal to negative 15a plus 3b okay so as you can see now we have two equations with two unknowns right so again in this case you can either use the substitution method or the elimination method i'm going to go with the elimination method again just to kind of keep it consistent all right so uh we need to eliminate one of these variables we need to do either a or b and in this case, I think B is gonna be a little bit easier. So uh, what we're gonna do here is I'm going to multiply this whole equation by a negative four, and I'm going to multiply this top equation, this whole thing by a positive three, all right? Why am I doing that? Well, because if I wanna eliminate the Bs, the numbers have to match also, okay? But they also have to have the opposite sign. So if I multiply this top one by a positive three, well, three times four is positive 12, right? So we'll have positive 12 B on top, and on the bottom, uh, negative four times positive three is negative 12 B. So if we multiply this whole thing out, uh, three times 16, that's equal to 48, and that's equal to, let's see, three times eight is 24 A, and then three times four B is positive 12 B, okay? And then the bottom one, negative four times negative nine, that's equal to 36. And negative four times negative 15 is equal to positive 60A, right? And then uh, negative four times positive 3B is equal to negative 12B. Okay, cool. So now we just have to add these together. So then here, uh, adding down here, 48 plus 36, that's equal to 84. And that's equal to, let's see, 24 plus 60 is also equal to 84. And that's A, right? And then again, these killed each other. Okay, so finally, <laughs> we're down to one equation with one unknown, just A, right? So we can solve for this pretty easily. So to solve for A, we'll just divide both sides by 84 here, right? Those cancel out. So we get that one is equal to A. All right, cool, we finally found one of our variables okay so what are we going to do with this variable we're going to plug it into one of our other equations that has an a in it so we can solve for b okay so let's just choose uh this one right here and i'll just rewrite it just right here so 16 is equal to 8a but we know what a is equal to now right it's equal to 1 uh, plus 4b okay so we get that 16 is equal to 8 plus uh, 4b will subtract 8 from both sides so we get that 8 is equal to 4b all right so it looks like that b is equal to 2 all right so we just found another variable right so we know what a is equal to we know what b is equal to now we need to figure out what c is equal to and in order to do that we're going to have to use an equation that has c in it so we're going to have to come back to one of these original equations uh, one of these three right here since they have c's in them and let's just use this one right here. It looks easy enough to use. So we're going to say that negative 6 is equal to A, which is 1, uh, minus B, so that's minus 2, uh, plus C. So we don't know what C is yet, right? So then here we get that negative 6 is equal to negative 1 plus C. Uh, add 1 to both sides. Those cancel out. So then here we get that negative 5 is equal to C. Okay, cool. So now we know what all three are equal to, right? Uh, so now, the final step, finally, is just plugging these back into our standard form equation, which again is y is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c, but now we know what a, b, and c are equal to, right? 
So then we're going to get that y is equal to a, which is just 1. So we can plug in a 1 right there, but 1 times x squared is just equal to x squared, right? So we could just put the x squared there. Uh, b is equal to positive 2, so we'll have plus 2x right there. And c is negative 5, so we'll have minus 5 right there, right? So then there's your equation for the parabola that runs through those three original points. So if you found the video helpful, definitely leave a thumbs up down below. And if you have any other questions or want to see any other examples, just let me know in the comment section below.